Hi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to rationalize denominators involving two terms. So we'll begin with question A, where we have 1 over 3 plus root 2. So this denominator is currently irrational because of this third here, the square root of 2. So we're going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying it by 3 minus root 2. And we have to do the same on top as well, because then we are, in effect, multiplying this fraction by 1. So we don't change its value. So now we have 1 lot of 3 minus root 2. So 3 minus root 2 on top. And for our denominator, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 3 times minus root 2, which is minus 3 root 2. Root 2 times 3, so positive 3 root 2. And then root 2 times minus root 2, so minus root 2 squared. And now we can tidy this up because we can see the negative 3 root 2 here. We'll cancel with this one to make 0. The knees will cancel. And the square root will cancel with a squared to make just 2. So now we have 3 minus root 2 on our numerator. And then the 9 take away the 2 is 7. So now we have 3 minus root 2 all over 7. Okay, for question B, we have 1 over 2 minus root 3. So to rationalize this denominator, we need to cancel out the third, which is the root 3. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 plus root 3. So again, we've in effect multiplied it by 1. And this plus root 3 is the opposite of the minus root 3. So when we multiply our numerator, we have 1 lot of 2 plus root 3. And for our denominator, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. And then 2 lots of root 3, so 2 root 3. Minus 3 times 2, so minus 2 root 3. And then minus 3 times positive root 3, so minus root 3 squared. So again, we can tighten this up. The positive 2 root 3 will cancel with a negative 1. And the square root and the square will also cancel. So this becomes 2 plus root 3 over 4, take away the 3, which is 1. So 2 plus root 3. Okay? So do you want to try question C? You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the right solution. Okay, so for question C, welcome back if you've got to go. So we need to cancel out the third here. So to do this, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3 plus 1. So again, we are doing the opposite of the second term, just like we did in the previous examples. So now we have 2 root 3 times root 3 on our numerator, and root 3 times by itself is root 3 squared, and then 2 root 3 times a 1 is just 2 root 3. And for our denominator, root 3 times by itself is root 3 squared. Then we have root 3 times 1, which is just root 3, minus root 3, and then a minus 1 times positive 1 is minus 1. Now we know the root and the square will cancel, so we have 6 plus 2 root 3 for our numerator. For our denominator, this positive will cancel with this negative, and the square and the square root will cancel again. So we have 3 minus 1, which is 2. So now we can simplify this fraction by factorizing the numerator. So we'll take out the 2, which gives us 3 plus root 3, all over 2. We'll cancel out the 2s, so we're left with 3 plus root 3. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay, so for our final question, we've been asked to simplify this product here and write it in the form of a root b 
minus root C, where A, B, and C are values we need to find. Okay, so if you want to try this question yourself, you can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. So welcome back if you had a go. So we're going to begin by simplifying this fraction. So we have 1 over 1 over root 2 plus 1. So to simplify the fraction, I'm going to cancel out this third root 2 by multiplying the numerator and denominator by root 2. So when I do this, we have our numerator of root 2. And for our denominator, this root 2 will cancel with this 1 to leave us with 1. And then the root 2 times 1 will make just root 2. I can rationalize in this denominator. So root 2 over 1 plus root 2 multiplied by 1 minus root 2. And then we can multiply out this for our numerator. So root 2 and then root 2 squared, which is 2, over the 1 minus root 2 plus root 2 minus root 2 squared, so minus 2. These will cancel. So we have root 2 minus 2 over minus 1. So I can write this as 2 minus root 2. So this is this fraction here. So we have a simplified version, 2 minus root 2. And now we can work out this second fraction by multiplying everything by root 3. So for our numerator, we have 4 root 3 over this root 3 will cancel with this one, so we have 1. And the root 3 times root 3 will make 3, and the 1 under 3 will make 4. So the denominator will be 4. We can simplify these two. So finally, we have root 3, lots of 2 minus root 2. So now we'll expand the brackets. We have 2 root 3. And root 3 times root 2, so minus root 6. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 6. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.